Cassette number eight from The Waiting on God held in Indianapolis, Indiana, December 27 to 29, 1985. We continue with the Friday evening session, December 27th. If you want to pray, you may. If you want to pray, you may. And talk to Jesus about your heart and your life. This is the time to pray and trust him. Thank you. Trust one another. We simply follow Jesus and rejoice <clears throat> and be encouraged. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for brokenness, yieldedness, surrender, that he might present to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. That gets in my heart more now than when I was preaching. It operates more in my heart now than a while ago. That means it's continuous. It's going on to perfection. Saying, yes, Jesus, I will to do thy will. Isn't it wonderful? Hallelujah. Something to rejoice about. Rushing in the mulberry trees. Hallelujah. Just, just lift up a voice in prayer. Just start praying. Yeah, just start praying. Amen. Just start praying Amen. and rejoice. Let's say I had my throat back, we'd be praying. I rejoice in Jesus. Well, there's hope in it. There's refreshment. There's joy in it. There's thanksgiving. There's sin in the deep court, oh God. Lord, you've given us hope. You've given us a word. You've given us a way. Cleanse us of all carnality, of all anger, of all hostility of all resentment, of all jealousy, of all hate, of all murmurings, all fault finding, all judgmental spirit, and envy, and covetousness, to cleanse us of all those things that so easily beset us. They, present, they prevent us from following Jesus, which prevents him from bringing a glorious church into being. He's able to do it if a people are willing to follow, that he might. And it's up to the individual to follow Jesus and doing God's will. Amen. Hallelujah. It is in my heart. Amen. Amen. Coming up into my heart from the altar. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Coming up into my heart from the altar. Praise Amen. He said, when I come again, will I find faith on the earth? This holy faith can live, exists in a yielded, obedient life. Praise and trusts and loves. That's where he abides. That's where the kingdom of God operates. That's where his revelation is given to those that fear him. We love God with all of our heart. We fear him. Yes, true. That he reveals what his will is. Yes, amen. I thank thee, Father, yes. that thou hast withheld these things from the wise and the prudent and revealed them unto babes. Yes. yes. His revelation is given to the childlike. That really operates in my heart. Isn't that encouraging? Isn't that exciting? That he reveals himself to the childlike. To those that love all the peoples. And live in his likeness. Following him. Doing only what he wants us to do. All this is the old, old story, but it works. It's precious. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, what a Savior. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise this wonderful. This gives us take heart. Look up. Rejoice. The day of our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you encouraged? Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. He wants to get the darkness out of the heart so it can get off the face. So there can be the shine of his love and light. Hallelujah. Within us. So we don't put pressure on our companion. We don't want them to do this. If we go, I want this, want this, want that. No, we just let God lead and help us. So we don't put pressure on anyone. Man. Just love everybody. Love. Never fail it. For people, a holy people. Rejoicing. Rejoicing. That touched my heart. Isn't that wonderful, Herb? Glory. Oh, what a meeting God gave us out there in Denver, in that hotel. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Well, so precious. Oh, it's so rich. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Everyone be obedient to the Lord and do exactly what he says. That the Holy Spirit leads. Because that's where life is. It's being obedient, following Jesus, and being true to that guidance, Amen. his revelation. Amen. Well, we're thankful for the cries in your heart to be a pure people. Your heart crying to God to get everything out of us that would be distracting yes. or grievous to him. True. We follow so we become a vessel and his honor sanctified in me for his use. Help Help Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thankful, John. Yes. Amen. Amen. You were encouraged. Yeah. Well, I, there's a lot of hope in it. There really yes. is. Oh, great hope. Oh, it's, it's great assurance. One thing I'm marveling about Thank you, Jesus. this message is it was so, so penetrating. So, uh, well, it could be devastating if there weren't hope about it, but there wasn't any finger pointing. No. There, there was a love and a kindness in it that uh, only, the, only God can, can mm -hmm. give. That touches Because man, man doesn't preach that kind of a sermon. And when you get into that area... If, if the carnal nature is under control, it's that kind of a sermon. And, oh my. It, and, and it doesn't really change no. in a permanent way. That's true. And it, 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 puts bar, it hurts. You just wrote a beautiful letter to, to all of we servants of God. Oh, that we go, couldn't everyone say amen to that? Yes. Yeah. Oh my. And so uh, we we need it so desperately. Oh yes, to well, be that able, touches me so we really, I, I can tell it operates it, in me. I read it. it. I said, "Oh Jesus, so, help me." Is that wonderful? We just, you know, we, as you said, we we're diligent. Some of us, and yes. we want to get we want to get the job done. So we want to help people get to where they need to go. So we, but we do it this way. And uh, God helped you so wonderfully in that. I, there, I didn't get punched one time. By your, not by any carnal finger. If I got touched, punched, it was by the precious Holy Spirit in my soul. Well, there's a great difference. Oh, yes. Yeah, so oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I, I thank the Lord for that. Yes. I'm glad I'm not following somebody who punches people. Oh, sticks people. Oh, that's, that's serious. That loves people. That's oh, and that yet touches the, me yet, on love. such people. a great burden. <laughs> Dude, there's such a, I wish I could say it, but there's, a, there's such a depth and a need, a desperateness. Yes. In it, and yet there was with such love and hope and possibility. Oh yeah, that's marvel. Only God really. could do it. So really. wonderful. So I just Precious. trust the Lord will help us hear the voice, hear His voice, yes. and then give us some, courage to my heart to respond yes. when He speaks to us. Yes. Oh yes. With all our heart, we truly seek Him to do His will. Praise the Lord. That's a precious word, son. Maybe Roger has something there. On his heart. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's precious, John. Well, I've, I've sensed this uh, all the years I've been with you. 
uh, that you don't get after people and you're kind and y you make it so wonderful that that we want to be like you and we want to do better because you're so loving and you don't line us up but you lift us up oh, through Jesus could it be so you don't, cri you don't criticize us but you just pray for us and, and pray that Jesus will help us to want to oh, yes. because we love you because yeah. we love you we'll do it Jesus. Really, love Jesus with all of our hearts. See, and that, that's that's it. Because the stickers, yeah, that's you're not in the sticker business. I'm supposed to be. Mm -mm. No, you're in the loving business. Oh yeah. Giant tell him hard. <laughs> it's great love, great love. I see. I it's it's been that way ever since I've been with him. Oh, I'm dead to the Jesus for and that. And the world's a different place today because he's like that. Yeah. And what would the world be like if we were like that? That's what Jesus wants. Oh, he wants us loving. He everybody. wants us the same way. Oh, yes, to love everybody. You see, see help change the world. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. He would do it. He He's would able. do it. He'd yeah. do it. Draw yeah. them into yeah. him. It's not that we want to be patterns of you. Oh, no. But see, Jesus is in you. Therefore, we want oh. to be like Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus is in you. Jesus. And, and it's just a wonderful thing. Oh, well, because every time I hear you preach, you help me yes, by God's grace. You help me. You blister me lots of times by God's grace. I mean, you just plow up the rows. It's really? a sight. Mm -hmm. it's, no. You don't know anything about it. No. But see, it's great. Jesus help me. Because you help me and challenge me every time you preach. And that's great. I I'm need it to by God's Jesus grace. And I need Father. I, I'm Hallelujah. thankful for it. For the blood. But I'm thankful for the consistency in your life when you're not in this pulpit. See, that's, that's the thing I'm thankful for, is the consistency I see day after day after day, year after year after year after year, when you don't see him, oh, my. but we do. Jesus. Consistency is still there. Jesus. You can't put on that act True. when everything's upside down and backwards. You can't put on an act then. Oh, Jesus is for your no, you either have it or you don't. Jesus. By God's grace, Jesus. he's helping. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you for helping us, saving it's us, been sanctifying. Great. It's been great. Giving us love and light oh, and gladness. Great. Absolutely great. Amen. And we're thankful. Amen. I'm Wonderful. Thankful. The world's a different place today for me because I met you oh. and your companion and all these people. The world is a different place. Christmas means more to me because I met him oh, and his Jesus, companion and all Savior. his family and every one of you. Christmas oh. is different today. Oh, that's why I told him when he called me, he's, I said, oh, I said, it's in my heart. I said, it'd be a wonderful time for the family to get together. <laughs> for the family to get together. Hallelujah. Oh, true. Hallelujah. See, because this, see, this could be the kingdom of God, the family of God. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's your real family. Yes. One you're going to spend eternity with. Jesus. The one without spot or wrinkle. <laughs> Joy, Glorious church. Peace, Joy. love, and light. See, that's your family. The ones that's obeying God. That's yes. your family. Praise God. Hey Amen. Son, oh, that's so good, son, Roger. Son, John. <laughs> These precious ones, they're so dear to me. You see, they're like sons to me. And we're very close. And the Lord helped us so good. Very precious. In fellowship. And. At your family Christmas, one of the most precious things to me personally was when your one of your great granddaughters yes. was so wonderfully yeah. helped of the Holy Spirit to oh. talk to Jesus out yes. of her heart. Yes, she came up to me. And she says, "Grandfather, I I would like to pray." That was about the first fifteen twenty minutes of our service. Yes, long before the presents were open. Yes, six years old, great granddaughter. I would like to pray. Yes, and she prayed. Did she pray? Oh, it was marvelous. She I, was under anointing. If only we had the recording of it, we could just play it, and then we wouldn't have to try to and we wouldn't have to tell the fumble people around to try to talk about it. It was yeah. so sweetly glorious. Oh, oh, it was a wonderful. Perfectly precious in child likeness, oh. in, uh, in devotion, in at homeness, and yet so wise. The wisdom of this child is yes. in beseeching the Father for real needs, yes. mature needs, yes. and without any religious overtones, her precious little sister yes. popped down from the sofa, came yes. around this lovely little stand. Came down to love her, two years old. And just said, I've got to pray. My sissy, 
This is my, my sissy. This is my sissy. sissy. She said, this is my sissy. That prayer, you know, touched her and got her off the couch and got her down where she was. It was so transparent. There was nothing religious about it. There was no religious term. There was nothing uh, theological about it. It was perfect yes. in demonstration to me of the childlikeness of the yes. kingdom. Yes. And uh, it made me aware of how weary we must uh, make our Heavenly Father endeavoring to be religious in order to follow him instead of just allowing our childlike responses yes. to bring us to his kingdom, <laughs> bring us into it Hallelujah. and become a part of it. Yes, yes. Amen. Oh, I wish you all could have been with us. It was so wonderful. Uh, Jewel, uh, do you remember how you told us how precious that was, how Jesus was working with us? Here, this little child was praying and because she wanted to pray, not because we asked her to pray. She just, she stayed pretty close here for a while. And oh, the prayer was so spontaneous out of her heart. And, and it was a marvelous thing because I've noticed the last uh, three years when I pray for our great grandchildren, God would operate in my heart on the great grandchildren. I'd tell my wife, I'd say, now, honey, the Holy Spirit is working with me about our great grandbabies. And here she would, all on her own, would pray like that. Requi request prayer. And she prayed. Oh, she prayed so earnestly. And the anointing was on this little six-year-old child. was so wonderful. Brought her little sister out from the sofa down and said, this is my sissy. Because she felt God working with her sister. Brought her right down to her. I thought it was great. It was. And Jewel said, oh, what God's been doing here, uh, these presents, that's fine. But, oh, we've had more than presents here. One of the Lord could do it again. Robert Allen, a few years ago, he said, I went to this home, take presents. I went over here, and I took presents, and I went over here, and I took presents. But, oh, Daddy, when I came in here, there was light in this place. He was weeping. He said, I don't need any Christmas presents. This is my Christmas <laughs> presents. Just be here where Jesus is leading. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's wonderful, isn't it? Amen. Praise the Lord. James, maybe you may want to, He's a man of few words. He can be with me about all day and not say much unless I talk to him. I'm thankful that this is not some cunningly devised fable. Or an ideology or a philosophy. It's wonderful once again to hear of the journey. This great journey toward holiness and righteousness and purity. Oh, that touches my heart. Holiness Kingdom and right. God in oh, operation. that touches me. I'm thankful that it's alive and it's real. It's real. Alive yes, and real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Real. So I told you years ago that if it had not been real, I would have not stayed very long. You told me I thought you left about the second day. Yes, sir. I'm thankful that I have found it to be real. Oh, oh praise the Lord. And more than real. <laughs> oh. Almost surrealistic. It's great. <laughs> oh, we're to Jesus. Hallelujah. Just, just think of it. Amen. When you came, you know, you never had a closet to put your shoes in. No, sir. The, the bed that you were sleeping on, you know, when you came to our house was uh, about that short, <laughs> too short. You couldn't, yes, sir. as long as it was, you know, you were right. that too long for the couch. And you came and it... Did you so much good when you put your shoes in the closet for the first oh, time wonderful blessing. in your life? Yes, sir. And your bed to the wall was about 10 feet from mine. And you were there for almost four years. Yes, sir, almost four years. And you see, when two families live, a, live for a year, you know, a lot of things happen. Sure, sir. Little things happen. They tell me. They do. And they can. They will. Unless God yes, leads. Yes, right. And there we were. She is helping. And because of the precious son here, God made a way for us with a son, mother, and some others that you might have. You need to have that home. Yes, sir. And you carried all your things over there. Praise God. Right. Uh, made many trips. You said it's worth it just one night. Right. <laughs> and you said you felt those nearly four years was as if we were. It was like we were there overnight. See, now that is a wonderful story of love. Yes, sir, it sure is. How he's helped us in prayer there. I was right. with James one night in prayer. The Holy Ghost helped me to pray like I used to pray for God to bring him in right. years before I ever knew where he was. Yes, sir. Yes, 
God, let me have the same anointing, similar Hallelujah. anointing Praise that God. I had when I was praying for James and John to be brought in from a faraway country. Wonderful. Just, just allowed us for a little while to have that anointing in prayer. Yes, it was sir. a precious time. Oh, it was wonderful. Only God could ever help yes, us sir. like that again. Everyone would want them to be prayed for like that. Everyone would want to be prayed for like that. Well, it would be a high privilege. Yes, sir. It would be a high privilege for a soul to be privileged Amen. to pray like that. Thank you, Jesus. Praise well, that's wonderful. Thank you, son. Yes, Richard, maybe you have. That's very precious, son. Brother Helm, it's been on my heart for a long time. I trust that it's in order. But I don't believe, at least I have not, had the opportunity to tell you how I appreciate these men of yours. That's thrilling me now. Yes. There's no place that they, I've seen ever seen any one of them that anybody would have to be ashamed of. <laughs> so precious. And I want to tell you, Brother Helm, now in front of this party of believers, Pastor Tom just came over to me and said, have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all your life and what we're looking out on here tonight? <laughs> and to know that you have these men oh, so thankful. to help you and pray for as we pray for them. Oh, daily yes. as God helps us yes. we can visualize I visualize John and yes. Roger and, yes. and John yes that's right and precious James yes and Dave yes all of them in our mind's eye yeah. and right. think how fortunate we are I know you 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 love yes. them in public oh, all the yes. time but we never get to tell them yes, I mean true. I never get to yes. tell them sure but I know I could speak for a lot of people here and saying we are so privileged oh. to know that these men are standing with you and doing the things for you that we'd love to do, we would like to be able to do, we love them all. Oh, so thankful for that, Richard. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Thank you for those Praise kind God. words. Yes, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Did you have anything on your heart that you want to say? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Oh, yes, he helped us so much. Amen. Well, I... I've been meditating on what the Lord would have us to do, and time has gone so fast, and we have to get up in the morning, so if we're going to be rested so we can be on our tiptoes with all of our heart following Jesus in the morning, we'll need a little rest tonight. And if God sees fit to give me rest like he did last night, it'll be a wonderful day. Just a little under six hours of, uh, I, when that alarm went off, I, sure, I thought, surely it made a mistake. I, I rested that good. <laughs> you know, that's something to come to when you rested that long. It is at my age, you know, I haven't been able to do that for several years, only occasionally, once in a while. It was a wonderful gift. Oh, I want to thank you. I want to praise thank you for all these helped us today. All yes. oh, these uh, 11 the hours we've been with you in this sanctuary today. We've had a me little meeting up there, talking, you know, and sharing a little. But in this sanctuary, God helping us. Yes. Blessing us together today. Helping us to love one another. Thank you, Jesus. Sharing on how we become the glorious church. Help us, Jesus. So that he's able to cleanse out of us all this carnal nature that insists on sticking in there and staying in there, existing there. Doesn't want to leave. But it will, through the power of Jesus, precious blood, Amen. Holy Spirit, then we die daily to keep it out. We'll be ever leading to keep it out. To live victoriously. Amen. Get to preaching again. The uh, Scott Depot Choir. How many members do we have here of the, uh, you want the youth choir or the adult? Youth or adult? It's the adult choir. How many of the adult choirs here? Would you stand, please? All the adult members of Scott Depot. Would you like to come? What do you have, about 40 or 50? Uh, May I see that? Do you have two copies? Some of those, they could sing from where they are. Oh, could they? Yeah. Oh, some of these you could sing from where you are. Well, which ones? 
Oh, they could do. They could do that. Oh. oh, Jesus paid it all. That when you said that, that's yeah. where it operated. Yes, God. Wonderful. God. I see. Went this, th that, that. And once you said that, Jesus said, "That's it." You know what the title is? Jesus paid it all. Now this is exciting when the Lord will tell us because we know Jesus paid it all. And the Holy Spirit witnesses tonight. That's the song. Jesus paid it all. All to Him I owe. Did you all over there want to just come over closer? You may. Thank you very much for that willingness to stay right there. Yes. It's about 45 to 50. These precious ones. If there are about 200 and some from Scott Depot, Church of God. 240. 240. And I think there's uh, 60, 70, 80 from Maranatha, aren't there, James? 75. Oh, wonderful. Think of it. Fayetteville, too. There's a number here from Fayetteville. So West Virginia is well represented. Just think, they're going to sing... Jesus paid it all. That was so precious. When I wash my garments That's white, right. when I'm presented before the throne, that's exactly that's what the scripture was. Yeah, that's what we preached about. Sin had left a crimson stain. That's just exactly. It fit, it fit the it, sermon. You couldn't have picked, God only could have picked out one that would match like that. Yeah, just match right up. Just, just, just right up. How many noticed that? A number sensed that and heard that. We're grateful to Jesus for it. Hallelujah. Yes, praise God. Amen.
what others would be able to sing, Sister Sally, that out there, because the platform's too small to get them on, I believe. Any other? Oh, any other? Oh, well, we'll just see here. The Lord gave the word. Amen. We're waiting on God. God's people. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Notice how all these men are all with dark coats. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Too good. Let's uh, do it again. <laughs> Let's do it over. You take a little child, you're telling him a little story, and you think he's just so, yeah, he's taken up with it. As soon as you finish, you say, do it again. <laughs> tell me again. <laughs> so you tell him again. <laughs> you finish it, and you think that's enough? They said, oh, please tell me again. Little child's like that. So that's the way this is. We enjoyed it so much. I wish you could all see what I could see. Oh, I wish you all could have seen, but you're hearing. I wish you could feel what I felt, Patty. I know. I mean, you talk about stereo, you know, you put these things in your ears. I said, this part saying, I said, I think we're in ecstasy. It wasn't just the sound, but it was the love. It's just so healing to me. I, I, I wish everybody was sitting in between here. I've never had this experience in all my life. It's truly, it's truly magnificent. Yeah. That's our baby girl. As she's converted, she said, Daddy, tonight, I've heard you for years say you feasted. And she said, I feasted tonight. That was just the next night or two after she's converted. So she's feasting down here. She's feasting. Just rejoicing. Isn't that wonderful? All of our daughters and Jack James and John here and our children and grandchildren. Oh, how precious. Praise the Lord. It is. And here we're hearing this beautiful singing about the Word. See, the Word was here. And they're singing about the Word. Glory. Talking about the Word of God. And oh, how wonderful that is. Oh, I tell you, it helped me as I heard you and watched you. Thank you. You may do it again if you like, please. Lord, helping you now. Jesus will take you out anointing because you anoint him so wonderfully. Only he could do this over uh, so sweetly as before. We know that it's through that Holy Spirit it could be for Jesus' sake. Thank you.
seems like it's getting started. It ought to go on and on. <laughs> oh, that was so praise. Oh, just think, Jesus told me that one. Oh, how precious. How could another one be so wonderful as that? Well, ye shall be witnesses. Ye shall be witnesses. Operates. God reveals it in my heart. Ye shall be my witnesses. Witnesses for Jesus, for the Savior, the Christ, the Son of the Most High God, the King of Glory. Oh, there's more where there. I didn't see you. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, it sounds so good. As the others along there, it's difficult to see here. There's a whole, praise the Lord, say it. Uh, instead of 40 or 50, I think there's 60 in this choir. Hallelujah. Well, oh, it's so wonderful. It is wonderful. Just think, because Jesus revealed to me in a telephone booth. <laughs> See, we have this choir. We have all the people from Scott Depot and Maranatha and Fayetteville because God spoke to me in a telephone booth. Right. Revealed it to me in 1969. That's why. That's, that's, that's the beginning. Oh. All because of his revelation. Praise God. That's enough to make me stand up Hallelujah. and get started. Just think of it. Oh, I can't hardly it. Just think how that important that was. Oh, oh how precious. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. And revealed in a telephone booth, church number six, the last one on the list, the one that would run the preachers out for 10 to 20 years. A few families. And I tried to run him out, but Jesus came with and saved the people and the ones that wanted to run him out. They didn't get him run out. <laughs> By God's grace. Amen. And the Lord saved these precious people and others back there in those hills and valleys. Yes, sir. Had a young girl, 12 years old, say, Sally and Richard, come over into Macedonia and help us. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, and it marvelous how God has blessed these dear ones, Amen. their talents. I want to give Jesus the glory and the praise for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Oh, it's so precious. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's precious, isn't it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I'll try to stop. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory. Thank you, Jesus, for doing this. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen.
to God, the Father, the Son of the Holy Ghost. Praise thee, Jesus. Praise thee. I praise thee. I praise thee. I glorify thee. I honor thee. Blessed one of Israel, the risen Savior at the right hand of God, soon to return for the church who hath washed itself white in the sacred blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise you shall God. be my witnesses. Yes, thank you, Jesus. On the earth. Praise the Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit was in my heart with light. Thank thee, Jesus. Thank thee, Jesus. Well, it's been refreshing. It's been inspiration. It's been a joy. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everyone that enjoyed that, say a hearty amen. Oh, that is really good. Joseph, you sang that so well. Oh, I enjoyed the way you did it. Oh, I did. Oh, my. Oh, you dear ones. Oh, how the Holy Spirit helped you. It's wonderful. Now, we have uh, at Scott Depot a precious young woman from Germany. And Oliver, would you like to come and tell us about her? She, I believe, is here. And she's recently found Jesus. Oh, yes. Just recently oh, yes. found the Lord. And it's a wonderful story yes. of his love. It, it began as a result of God leading you to lead us through West Germany. Yes. Oh, yes, that was so important. And as we went through West Germany, mm -hmm. one of our own, yes. Pam Davis, yes. had a desire to, for a student to come from Germany. That was 10 years ago. Yes, sir. While we were out west, uh, on the, as the Lord took us west, yes, yes, the, great the six time. of us, uh, hey. she came from Germany. And uh, Pastor uh, David Anderson was approached, well, when I got back, shouldn't she be introduced right away to the congregation? And David said, well, let's just trust yes. and wait for God to work this out. Work it out. And... Uh, and so I came back, and uh, I didn't remember there was a student from Germany there. And it was mid-November when the youth choir, and I September, October, and halfway through November. Yes. And I did not think about it, or I would have thought to be kind, you know. But David, Pastor David, felt like we should wait. Yes. And so in mid-November... The youth choir, Sally told me in the afternoon, the youth choir was to sing a song in German, and that Segrin was rather amused at our, uh, our speaking in German because it sounded to her more like it was Hebrew than German. <laughs> and, and she was, because she speaks, she's German, she can, and she speaks good English. She's a, top, she's a top student, speaks about five languages. Her father is teaching China to industrialize. It was a very important job, and her family's a very fine family. I learned this one night when I talked to the person she's now staying with, which is in the Mullins home. And, uh, but she wanted to find the Lord. Now, over in Germany, she's Lutheran. They go to church about one hour a month. So in a few services with us, she thought she'd had enough church to last a lifetime just a little while because we in just a little while we've been to church a while you know we don't overdo it's a job to get turned out yes. in two to three hours <clears throat> yes and so uh but one night and uh, just after i met her i mean when i met her um uh, i remember it they're saying i said oh where is our German student. Now, we're fortunate to have her. She should be in the public schools, but our people got together and raised the money to put her in the school, keep her with us, and she wanted to be with us. So we're very fortunate. The exchange students don't usually come to the private Christian schools, so we're very fortunate to have her. And, um, but when, when she stepped, when I said, where is she? And she stepped out of the choir. When she came down from the choir and I looked into her eyes, I saw... I saw a love for me that's like I have for you. <laughs> so precious. Now, when somebody loves me like I love him, oh, bro. Oh, you have something. by God's grace. Praise now, what that is, that's 
what, that's the way they looked at Jesus when he walked the earth. See, the kingdom of God would be in operation. They would be, the elect are like that. Oh, blessed Jesus. And there's a love like that. When the veil's not there, when they see clear in most all peoples of the earth, when I saw her eyes, I saw that love. Yeah, and I, my heart. I found out later that she wanted to take me home to Germany with her. Yes. And I, 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 well, I was astonished because when I saw her eyes and she came down and I took her hand, I was at home with her. Yes. I thought, oh, Lord, two and a half months and I didn't, hardly, I didn't know she was in the place. And she's watched me be myself. Yes. She's watched me hunger for God. She's watched me preach. She's watched me. And she didn't know anything about this in Germany at all. Yes. Well, but she you. came here. And because God sent us to church number six, yes. and then had you, he laid, you said we were to go through Germany. Yes. Now that's the importance of one bus ride. One. Of one, of one person, Pam Davis, taking a bus ride through Germany. It doesn't mean we had to stop. Sorry. Just go through. Yes, sir. And fall in love with Germany. Yes. Fall in love with the people of Germany. Yes. And want somebody desperately to come be with us. Then it came to pass ten years later. Yes, sir. And so a few nights ago, Sandy Chittam, the song she was to sing was Little is much when God is in it. And just before she sang it, she made a confession, asked her children to forgive her. She felt like she had not uh, talked on the way to church or said something that wasn't quite right. Sandy's very childlike, yes. very beautiful. She's like yes. Monty. Yes. They're very pure people. Yes. And they want everything clear. Oh, they're, yeah. trying be, oh, yeah. they're trying to be the glorious church. Amen. And so Praise she asked Lord. forgiveness. And then when she started, when she started to sing, Little is much when God is in it. Labor not for wealth or fame. The power came into the congregation. I mean, I, I just stood and said, well, come on, Jesus is calling. The altar calls now. Come right on. And when I did, Seagrin got up out of her seat, second seat where she always sat, so went right to the altar and, and asked Jesus to be the Lord of her life. Amen. We've you. had a wonderful time with this beautiful young lady. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know that I can pronounce her second name, Mike, because I'm like, it's like the Hebrew sound, you know, but it, she might tell me when she gets up here, but Segrin Hernkin, that's pretty close. Honey, come up here. I wanted you, I told you, I wanted you to meet the man before that walks with God. And so you're here with us. Praise the Lord. This is her. This is Seagram, Brother Hale. Praise the Lord. Sometimes I do here with us. I'm glad to be here. It's just great to you. I'm delighted. You've been encouraged. Yeah. Grateful. Praise the Lord. It's great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Praise the Lord, Brother. Great honor. Thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. So grateful for yourself. Would Thank you like you. to say something, honey? I would like to praise the Lord, and I'm thankful to be here because I really wanted to be here. And um, the congregation, all people in Scotty who made it possible for me to be here now. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're grateful. Ministry opening up in Germany. Yes. You see, it was very important for us to go through Germany at that time, and the, our guides were, they were rather exclaiming about the fact that they could have so easily missed us. And they were so uh, stirred up over the way God worked uh, with our people. Oh, they were. They were much like it. It was a very important time. Well, we are now coming to the close of the first day, some 11 hours, a little over, in the sanctuary since I entered this morning early. And uh, we're grateful for our sound personnel that have helped us with the sound, and video, and so on. And our ushers. And all those that have helped us, we're grateful. Now we have, uh, we have persons in this auditorium that do not have any money. And we have a count of a few of them. And uh, we've already given some. 
at quite a thousand today. And the offering this morning was a good offering. Uh, but it uh, will require quite a bit for our expenses. We have several thousand dollars expenses because we have about 20 rooms here, approximately keeping different persons yes. and food for some several. So our expenses are very high. And uh, our next month's salary is 26,000 some hundred dollars. I can tell you if I look at a little piece of paper. But that's uh, next month, first month of 86. And I was thinking how wonderful it would be if God were to lay it upon most people's hearts here to help us each week. I've never said that before, but I was thinking, meditating about it. If most persons would pray about it and see what the Lord would have you to do. That's all I need to say. And God can do the rest. So I believe it is time for the evening offering. And if the dear ones will come forth. And Jewel, would you come to the piano, please? found this young lady when she was 18 years old. Because God led in Newcastle and Dan in 1926. And then led us to Greensboro in 1950. And because of God bringing me to C.C. Field, he brought us to your father. And that's how we found you, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Have you had a good time today? Yes, sir. It's been good for me. <laughs> Amen. I know you were delighted at the Christmas the other night. You were so happy the way the Lord led us. And I was glad. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right, Jesus, we pray for the offering now and for it to be in thy holy name and that thou will help us to get finance to these that do not have anything and uh, a limited amount. I pray that thou will give us an offering tonight in Jesus' name. And let it be sanctified and blessed in thy holy name. Praise the Lord. Now when I said blessed, it operated in my heart. The offering this morning, he said he'd sanctify it. Tonight he said he'll bless it. Hallelujah. All right, we're ready. Oh, there may be someone that wants envelopes. So to have credit, and so we'll need to take care of that. So we're going. So we have several that need money, need financial assistance. Now the early church took care of the needs of the people. And we've tried to do that in the waitings upon God. You know, Brother Schultz, the first time they came, they came from, from Montana. And uh, God had me to take up an offering with $600. Because that's quite a bit then compared to now. And you know, when they got home, I think it just had a dollar or two left. Wasn't very much. Just enough to get them home and take care of all the needs they had. They came back a few years later and took another offering. <laughs> now, another one. Oh, he said another one. Now, the last few years, it's coming. Those offerings all came rolling back with interest and more. Praise the Lord. You know, when Brother and when the Lord revealed to me that Brother and Sister Schultz were to go to Kokomo, David was. I think sacking groceries in the grocery store and Todd was helping pick up the garbage on the trucks. Look what God has done for these sons <laughs> and all the others over there. I just use that to tell you. It's a marvel how God has helped all the precious ones of the body of believers. Each one. Every one. Now Jesus did this. And he gave me the revelation, Go thou to Kokum one day, and the Lord will be with thee. Eight years ago last July. It's a wonderful story. Moved how many times? Uh, 
times. Moved seven times in eight years. In eight years. The church, you know, from one place to the other so they could find a place to worship. God blesses when he leads. Amen. We thank you. Amen. All right, are we ready now for the offering? Thank you very much. Thank you, May. Thank you. Thank you for that was a beautiful number. Thankful. Praise the Lord. May the Lord give you double, triple rest tonight. Receive in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, we prayed for our people in Nigeria. As the only I was astonished when the Lord revealed to me I could pray for them to have Seven hours rest for every hour in bed. I prayed that about one o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. Twelve to one in the morning. You all arrived there about a little after one or two, something like that. 
16 hours. I just it was a long time. It was a long time. <laughs> and see, my heart went out to them. I knew they were jostling around that <laughs> minibus all those miles. God was so merciful. And I just oh. pled and I said, Jesus, yes, would you give them three hours for every hour? And it wasn't any word. I said, four hours? I said, would you, Lord, just give them five hours, six hours? Jesus, would you give them seven? He said, I'll give them seven hours Amen. rest for every hour in bed. Amen. And he did it. He did a great Lord, miracle. We needed everyone. All of us there that really had that, would you say amen? Amen. Yeah. They had wonderful rest. Yes, sir. God has mercy. In a strange land, in a land not like this one quite. Oh, brother. Brother, it's great. God did. He did a wonderful thing indeed. We praise him for that. We don't want to go home, but we have to. And yet we're right here at home almost. Yes, sir. We don't want to quit, but we have to. That's why we must get to. Oh, it's not after 11 already, is it? Oh, John, I didn't realize it was after 11. I thought it was. I just didn't realize it was the time. I thought we had. <laughs> few minutes to go here. Well, it had been wonderful. To, Jesus would help us like this. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord for the victory. Amen. Amen. Now, would you like to make the announcements? Thank you. Oh, Robert Allen. After the meeting, I need to see Paul Spasik, Reverend Paul Spasik, and a representative Robert Allen needs to see Paul Spizek and also a representative of the Church of Christ Fellowship at Kokomo. Yes, uh, another? Florence. Florence Ann? Mail tickets were canceled, so they can buy, they're free to buy tickets tomorrow prior to the brunch and the dinner. But the ones that had been um, pre uh, uh, requested were not picked up, so we had to cancel them because we could not count them. Yes, I see. So Thank everyone's you. free of that. Thank you. Thank you. We trust you all will hear this and go accordingly. All right. Praise the Lord for his presence and his guidance and his blessing tonight. Amen. This Amen. all day long for Praise early morning. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, we came in this room over 17 hours ago. Amazing. And we're thankful. Right. Brother Chelsea, would you pray, please? <clears throat> Keith Lavender, would you continue after he prays, please? Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for your sweet presence today in this sacred place. We thank you for your leadings during every waiting upon God since uh, Mary Webster had the revelation that Brother Helm is to meet with the people of God in some hotel or motel to wait upon thee. We thank thee for all that you've done in hearts since that time. But we're reminded that the chopping is going on for a deeper water hole. That the place where the baptism can take place has not yet been found. And we pray, Lord, for this waiting upon God these coming few days, somehow you'll help us to find that place where that baptism can take place, where we shall be one people under thee and in thee. We pray for the rest tonight that we need. May thy servant rest and be quickened, especially we thank thee for giving this wonderful rest for the last two days. Jesus, we pray, in thy great mercy, do it again. Amen. Lord, as we continue, we thank Thee for this day. We thank Thee, Lord, for Your blessing. We thank Thee for the moving of Thy Spirit. We thank Thee, Lord, for all that Thee has done. We pray that You might strengthen those who need it the most just now, those who have worked so diligently today. Lord, those that have taken care of us in this place, that have worked many hours this day, we pray that You would bless them, strengthen them, Prepare them for tomorrow so that they may serve us again. We left each and everything to thee. Give thee all praise and honor. Be with us in thy care and thy keeping. In Jesus' name, amen. Beginning the Saturday morning session, 
December 28, 1985. compound was very limited in its facilities and he had to sleep on a bed with straw and when he arose the next morning his his body was not feeling the best his back was not feeling very good you know if you sleep on straw on board sometimes you have an experience sometimes and he was getting on his pony well saddled and he was feeling sorry for himself. But I've had a bad night. <laughs> my back doesn't feel well, and my body is <laughs> drooping a little bit. And he said, <clears throat> all at once he could hear his Indian guide way up ahead on the path through the rocks. He didn't have any shoes on, all he had was burlap, kind of tied around his feet. And he knew uh, by that time for a little while, his feet would almost be bruised or bleeding. And while he was sitting there on his pony, he could hear this Indian guide begin to sing, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." He said, I tell you, I made the horn of my saddle immediately an altar. <laughs> and I cried, oh, how wonderful. See, I'm riding in a beautiful saddle. He's down there without any shoes. His feet's being hit and knocked around with the rough rocks and sharp things, and he's singing, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." He said, murmuring, get hands. Because he could hear this precious one sing this great hymn about Jesus, trusting Jesus. Oh, I need, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So all the time she was playing that, that's where I was. I was in China thinking about Bishop William Taylor having that hard experience. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. Well, we can't praise him enough for his guidance and blessing and direction, help and instruction and righteousness. And he is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Is William Ryan here? Scott, would you come up on the platform, please? Brother Ryan, when he comes, you bring him up, please. Rodney Dunn, would you come, please? C.G. White, would you come up, please?
Brother Ryan, would you come up, please? Jane Langdon, would you come up? Robert Johnson, would you come up, son? <coughs> Hallelujah. Excuse me for not standing. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thomas England, would you come up and have prayer, please? Let the congregation stand for prayer. Shall we pray? Father, we're thankful we can be here this morning. Thankful for the grace of God that's allowed it. Thankful for how you've helped us, what you're doing in this place, in our hearts. We're in debt to you for your goodness to us, for your mercy. You know our needs today. We're thankful that you care for us. Thankful that you have here for us what we need. We pray for your strength at this time, for the man of God. We pray, O oh God, that you would be able to help us in this place at this time. The things that uh, you have for us, God, we would pray that we could press through and get that which you have here for us today. Thankful for the stir that we feel in our soul. Thankful for the move of God that we've experienced. Thankful for the challenge that's been ours over and over and over. Oh God, it's an awesome place. We're in debt to thee for today. Hallelujah. Lord, we're thankful for what it's done in we our own individual thee, life Jesus. and how it's Thank moved God. us in a certain way. Yes. Only thou knowest. And we come to thee in debt this morning, in great debt, yes. because of the great things that you have accomplished, the things that you're trying to accomplish. Yes. We're thankful for the forbearance yes, of thee. Jesus. How you seemingly uh, do not tire trying to help us, trying to lift us, trying to get us to the place that we are called to be. We thank you for that. Oh, God, you know the stir in our soul. You know uh, what's been imparted to us. You know exactly how it's helped us. You know what it's done inside our bones. And we uh, attribute that to thee and to obedience and to man with a vision. And we give thee praise for that this morning. God, we appreciate what it's done for us. We know that it's our lifeline. It's the very strength that we have within us today. It's the reason we live. We come to thee today trying to acknowledge that, feeble Amen. as it may sound. We try to acknowledge what you have done for us, the yes, light Lord. that you have given us, the strength that you have imparted to us, uh, the willingness that you have put within us to go forward. We're thankful, oh God, Jesus, we come to thee in this time and in this place, knowing that thou knowest the needs. You know, God, who needs to be lifted. You know, Jesus, where the inspiration is today. You know, oh God, where uh, the, the direct path is. We pray that you'll lead thy servant this morning in the ways that only thou can. We praise thee for how you have already. Oh God, it's so vital. We get uh, just a little glimpse of it, but we're able to determine for sure it's so vital today. It's so essential to us. We ask you to help us in this time. Lord, we're needy. We do not know much how to come in or how to go out, but we know that you have us here. It's a appointed time of God. We pray to get that into our hearts. Oh, God, the stir that has been upon us, Jesus. Seemingly, there is any other place. Seemingly, there is any other thing to do. We uh, have uh, brought forth a certain analogy in our own hearts. Seemingly, most things are dim. Here's where the bright place. This is the place of light. This is Holy the place, Ghost, oh God, Lord, your of satisfaction. Jesus, this is the place, Ghost, Jesus, whereby oh, Jesus, we are challenged we in a certain Lord. way to uh, be more than we ever thought we could be. God, we know it's only through your grace and mercy, only by your strength, but somehow we've been able to believe it can be done. Yes, and we thank you for that. 
We thank you for the positiveness that's in this voice that we hear. Oh, God, it's such a wonderful thing to see a face and to see a man, yet to be able to hear a voice. It speaks to our inner man. It's so, so much greater than we can say today. Oh, God, the word seemingly comes over and over to us. Challenge, challenge, challenge. We're thankful for the life that comes from the challenge. We're thankful for the inspiration that's come from the challenge. We're thankful, oh, God. How it gives us such a, a hope in a, a most dismal place, a dark time in history of maybe the one of the darkest moments of all mankind. But yet, Jesus, there seemingly is Jesus. something within us that helps Jesus. us to believe Jesus. that it can be done. Yes. And we thank thee for it, God. We have hope this morning that it can be done. We see Jesus within our own inner man, certain kinds of weaknesses. But then we look to thee and we see a life surrendered and we are once again renewed. And we thank thee for that today. In this place, oh God, we, we would pray that the fire would burn within us. We pray, God, that this candle, this light would so burn Jesus that we might not flicker in this day and time which the light is so dead desperately needed. Yes, yes. Help us, O oh God, to be all that we're called to be. We pray for sanctification for our heart. We pray for God's work in our soul. We pray for the direction of God's Spirit. We pray that you'd be able this morning to keep us in the place where you can do the complete work. Oh God, we were stirred as we were coming trying to pray that you'd reshape us. Oh Lord, we claim that by God's grace, knowing that it was for sure a need and believing that you've called us into the kingdom. In this Please, for such a time that we can be reshaping Jesus, we we have heard we haven't heard anything that's uh, discouraged that at all. We've been uh, for sure affirmed over and over as we've sat here these few hours. Oh, it can be done, Jesus. reshaped, remolded to the potter's house, if you please. Broken, a design of the master's hand. That, oh God, we have <laughs> put in uh, for today, even this morning, that you once again uh, could yes, uh, make Jesus, us into the, the people of God. Uh, my own heart, individually, crying out to be able to uh, carry part of the load. Oh God, we pray that we could off uh, refresh this man and this ministry. Oh, God, seek it out diligently in the uh, Roman atmosphere, possibly. But to off refresh it, we pray today. God, stir us up that we might uh, this morning uh, get a glimpse of what it's about. Oh, God, take the veil away that we might be able to uh, proceed beyond the depths of human reasoning and analogy today. God, somehow, through Christ, we pray. Help us to see what really is going on by God's grace. When I say us, I say singular. Help me to see what's going on today. Oh, God, I pray in Jesus' name. I get it in my bones. Get it in my heart. I pray in your holy name. Stir me up, oh, God, whereby we will never look back. We pray in Jesus' name to be fit for the master's use. We, we're thankful for uh, the pruning here. We're thankful for the grinding. We're thankful for the soothing the oil that heals the wound. Oh, God. We're thankful for the Jerusalem blade, for the ram's horn, a battle that's been declared in this place. Oh, God, when we get with this servant and the company of these men, we want to fight. We want to get to the front line. We want to do service in the king's army. We give thee our praise, oh, God. God. We attribute to thee. We know it must come from divine source. Oh God, not to be so lifeless and listless so many times and yet come to a place and be challenged to face. Oh God, we can almost hear the armor uh, a clatter. We get a certain sense. This is the reason for life. This is the reason for existence. This is the reason that we are uh, in this uh, world today. Oh God, to walk in these latter moments, Jesus, we thank Thee. What a privilege. Lord, we've had dreams. We've had ideas. We have aspirations through the years. Try this, buy this, ride this, uh, smell this, uh, uh, fly here, be there, but seemingly looked upon something here 
felt it within our own beings. There's hardly anything. We, have, we find no satisfaction. You know it's true. We find, we find no satisfaction other than in this uh, company. Oh, God, when we're in this company, we want to press closer. When we're far away by miles, uh, we think and dream and ponder and in our minds and our hearts certain kinds of encounters. We're grateful to God. We know it's from heaven. We know it's uh, out of the sky.